Hey, welcome to part three of my Demon Souls video. So, yeah, here it is. Area to go to. Um, if you go to Island's Edge, you could just defeat the Agitator, which is a fun boss with the arrows, and then you could fight the Reaper for 5,000 free souls really rapidly after the Agitator boss. All right, so my main goal here after the Tower Knight is you run to this second pillar over here at Island's Edge. Because the fog after the Tower Knight, it mentions you need to defeat a Archdemon in order to continue through the fog. And this is a great area to farm souls and also get the Educator Shield, which is very powerful. I already have it, and I'll show you where it is. So I'm going to continue onwards. You have to take out these blue skulled enemies. I recommend taking them out one by one. They're kind of difficult. I showed how to do it without the Agitator Shields. A little bit easier with the Agitator Shields. Gotta lead them out one by one. So I'm gonna run up here under these two crossbowmen on next to this demon, make a left, and I'm gonna press L1 on this trap. Block the three arrows that got shot at me. Run up the stairs. Once you get to the top of the stairs, run to the other side of the castle and go downstairs and you can grab the copper key right here. You need to use the copper key over here to buy arrows. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press L1 to make sure that that dude doesn't hit me. You can still see the demon right there. And essentially, you're going to continue into here, fight two skeletons, and then go into a crypt for a secret passageway. Uh, which leads to, eventually, the Educator, after, like, ten more enemies. Okay, so I take that dude out. Open this invisible wall. So the prisoner in here, he sells Half Moon Grass. You can also farm Half Moon Grass on the Blue-Eyed Knights, right in front of where he fought the Tower Knight. Also in video one, I showed you where to farm Pine Resin, near the first Fog Gate in the Gates of Volataria on the right hand side of the first fog gate. And essentially you could use the copper key. Let me lead out one of these skeletons. If you go to the end of the hallway you could lead one of them out. They don't get beaten by both of them at the same time. There's a guy on the right side. It takes a little bit of trial and error. There we go. You lead one of them out and then you defeat him. And then you can go defeat the other one on the other side. The Educator Shield again, it is much better at maintaining endurance while you fight the enemy. So on the right hand side here, you always have like about 3,000 souls. You go to this guy and you can buy half moon grass or arrows. So I need arrows so that I could defeat the Educator boss. So I'm going to buy 100. You also need them for the Storm King too. So I'm going to buy 200, 300 arrows, 246 arrows. You also need to be able to reach them. So I'm going to buy some Half Moon Grass. And let me equip my Half Moon Grass over here. And my... You can tell what's equipped by the yellow thing, the yellow square. So my, and my Late Moon Grass. So, I'm going to go over here, go through the second invisible wall, I'm going to press right on my d-pad and take out my crossbow, which I bought from, watch out for this trap, press L1. So you don't need the crossbow, you just need the compound short bow from video number two. I bought it from the dude who sells the, the pine resin on the Lord's Path after the wolves. So right here they shoot green shards at you, and that's the best time to shoot them with RT. You click in the right stick, and then you press R2 to shoot at them. The closer they are, the more damage you do, and also the green things hone in on you. So once they shoot it, you need to dodge at the end of the, the green shard approaching. You'd also block them. Just shoot them twice real quick. There we go. Done. So you can get an item over there. Um, I don't know what it is. 
and uh, at the end of the cliff, but then you run in here into the fog. You're gonna press right on the D-pad. This area is a little bit easier after you take out uh, the mana rays because they don't shoot at you. So, and this is where you get the educator shield. So I'm gonna lead this dude over here and then finish him off with the rune scimitar. And this other dude here, you could just end him with uh, the crossbow. Block his thing, click in the right stick and then press R2 and just take him out. Perfect. So now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take out this dude. He's standing right next to where the Educator Shield is. You can backstab him multiple times. I recommend just only backstabbing him and picking up and equipping the Educator Shield if you're able to. You don't need it though to fight him because he's pretty easy just to repeatedly backstab. So you can still see the demon over here. He looks like the Educator a bit. He's uh, front guarding the Educator's his dojo. So this is a trap right here. What you're gonna do is step on this, turn around, press L1 to block the arrows. And then you're gonna continue on this way. Grab this item right here. And you're gonna hop down. Watch out for the, the green shards. I recommend just running by these enemies. I don't think they could they could keep up with you. So just run by them. They're very easy to defeat as well, which is I recommend taking out the green shard dude first. Who just repeatedly hones in on you for no reason. I right, run in here. Heal up a bit. So once you're in here, you can run over the staircase and then go down over there. No. And it leads right to here, which is the same area. And then you run out here, there's a twinkle shard. Oh, it respawns. So the twinkle respawns, you could go get it. Let me go grab it real quick. Uh, rune scimitar. Looks like you need the battle axe for that. So the twinkle shard does respawn, which is good to know. Um, but yeah, besides that, instead of running in that room, you can run under the staircase right here to continue onwards to the Agitator. Watch out for this trap, press L1. So the Agitator's on the other side of this fog with the red demon dude. So... Good boy. Alright, so... Let's do late, late moon grass. I'm gonna press start. I'm gonna equip my... Compound short bow, right here. I'm gonna go over here to my arrows, and I'm gonna equip my arrows. Press right on the D-pad, I have 266 arrows. So in order to aim, you press L2, and then you press R2 to shoot. So this enemy is a little bit difficult. Let me enter the fog. It is tongue, it can hit you through the floor. And you also need to watch out because He's able to uh, defeat you pretty easily. Uh, but it's actually a relatively easy fight. You just gotta press L2 and then RT and shoot at him and then back up. And you just do that at random spots while avoiding his tongue. He destroys the environment um, all around him and he could hit you through the floor with his tongue. You see, I, I have to stand here. Avoid his attack. Shoot. You get him in the front, too. Everything works. So let's go stand over here. I'm gonna win. Shoot. You can't shoot him in the belly, okay? You have to shoot him directly in the head, otherwise it doesn't work. So I'm gonna press start and switch my crossbow 
to my compound shortbow, which has 264 arrows, thankfully. And down here, you could also press L2, and you could RT to shoot at him. Makes it a little bit easier when he's like over here. Because you could shoot before he turns. The compound short bow, like free aiming, makes it a little bit easier since you could shoot before he turns. I don't know why it's locked on. I recommend not locking on at all because that kind of messes up your aim a little bit. Um, the aim is definitely a little bit better if you don't lock on. So watch, L2, and then I'm just gonna press RT before he even turns, and it hits him. See? Animals and shit. Alright, so that's the final blow to the educator. I defeated him with my compound short bow by pressing L2 and RT. It's much easier to fight him down here. Unlike the guy on YouTube, I'm a superior warrior. And now I will touch the archstone. I defeated him. I unlocked this archstone. I'm going to continue forwards though and onto the ritual path. So right down here, you could actually go farm the reaper souls hardcore. So you go right here and what you're going to do Grab this item. You're gonna stand and open this door. Ignore that guy. So that's the Reaper right there. Wait. So that's the Reaper right there. Um, you can defeat him and get 5,000 souls repeatedly. Uh, this is where I like to go after the Tower Knight. Uh, so this is definitely a really good area to go to. Um, if you go to Island's Edge, you could just defeat the Adjudicator, which is a fun boss with the arrows, and then you could fight the Reaper for 5,000 free souls really rapidly after the Adjudicator boss. So you stand here, and what you're going to do is you're going to press LT and RT, and you just need to shoot the Reaper a few times. And you get... Everyone dies, and you get 5,000 souls. Check this shit out. And he responds, too. Check it out. They look like aliens. Damn, dude. That was a lot of damage. Alright, so after you defeat the Reaper, everybody dies in the room. So you could hop down, and you could defeat him. So I got 3,500 souls, which is a lot. And you could repeatedly keep doing that. And then, essentially, what you do is, after you defeat the Reaper, here's the altar. What you're going to do is, you're going to run to the right and up the stairs, and then leave the room. You could probably defeat him from- oh. You could probably defeat him from up here. Um. Just with arrows, if you strengthen your crossbow. Or your bow. Um. Obviously now that I have a lot of souls, after defeating the educator, I would be able to do that. You just run right back up the staircase. Run up this staircase, and you're right back at the Educator. So, I could use the Educator and the Reaper souls to upgrade my bow, and then I could take out the Reaper faster, and just farm 3,000 souls really quickly, instead of fighting and getting 200 souls from the Skeletons. Um, to sponsor my... My Island's Edge stream. Let me resize my camera. Back to the Nexus. I'm going to upgrade my bow so I could down the Reaper a little bit easier with the bow. In a row. So I'm going to run over here. I'm going to talk to this dude. And I'm going to upgrade my compound short bow to compound short bow plus one. Which just needs hardstone shards, which needs hardstone shards three for plus two. Upgrade that. Plus three. Upgrade that. So now that I've repaired my equipment, upgraded my compound short bow to plus three, and my skimitar to plus four, and I have the educator shield. So after all those upgrades are complete, you're gonna go and level 
uh, after the educator with uh, black robe girl, white eyes. You seek soul power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to level my endurance. I'm going to level my strength. And that's it. So now I'm level 24.